Hello and welcome along to another episode of this FIFA 19 career with Crew Alexandra. It's season 3 episode 12 and today could be the final episode of the series as we could wrap up both of our main objectives in the same season. We've won promotion to the Premier League from the Championship and now we could win a big domestic cup as we play our FA Cup final against Southampton. After a very strange season where we played some of the top teams, some of them have played really weakened sides, some of them have dominated but not been able to put us away. We're now into the final and we've got our full 11 to choose from as our centre-half's just back from injury. So let's get into it, see if we can get a result. If we can take it to extra time and penalties, then all the more for the drama, but we'd quite like to wrap it up in 90, though it won't be easy against a good Southampton side. We get into it as the away side officially. Doesn't mean much at Wembley for the cup final other than getting the away changing room. But they're both a pretty high standard at that ground. We're going to play in our home kit. Southampton in their away one. Just because they play in red and white. And our two kits are red and white. So if we look at the team for today, there was a bit of a question mark over McKenna, who hasn't played for two months due to injury. But we've got a Campos in goal, McQueen and Justin the fullbacks, a slightly injured McKenna and Ampardo at centre-half. Rossiter's at the base of the diamond, Yates and Nydam in the middle, and then Morgan Gibbs White behind Morris and Pole up front. We've got all the game changers on the bench, the likes of Panico in particular, and fingers crossed they'll be able to make a difference today. So let's get into the cup final. We'll be back in a second with the kick-off. Here we go then, we're at Wembley, it's cup final time, the FA Cup final for a championship side, a remarkable achievement and a possible ending to the series, but let's get into the game and see if we can do anything special. Pierre Hoiberg's there for Southampton, they're going to have their first team out for this one surely, so it's going to be a very tough task for us to make sure we get a result. They've probably signed some players, which it looks like they have already, in fact a lot of these lads I don't recognise, and that one's the first, Moussa Dembele up front, that's got to be a yellow card too, but Moussa so then Bele's one hell of a player, having on to Leon from Celtic in real life for 20 odd million. A book in early doors for Southampton, Santi Mina with the tackle there, and hopefully we can build a platform with our first attack in a match. A bit of possession with Ethan Ampardo. He gets it out to the right for James Justin. Chance to come forward, but cuts back inside. He finds the man in the middle, Morgan Gibbs White. It's Ward Prowse closing him down. Lamina's still there too. Into McQueen. He finds Carlton Morris. He gets it inside to Nydam. Can we get it over to the right there with Justin? Him. Chance to cross it in low. Good block by the defender and hoofed away. Sam McQueen's up against his former club, of course, today. He joined us early on in the series. Back in League One, it was, in fact. And now it's Southampton coming forward with James Ward-Prowse. He finds Mina. Ward-Prowse again trying to make the overlapping run, but McQueen does really well to intercept, and he finds Ampardu. Giving it away 25 yards out, though. Not something he wants to be making a habit of in this game. Nerves get into the youngster early on, and now they've got it on the left with a fullback, who again I don't recognise. Into the middle. Watch a lot of French, Italian, and German football, and I don't recognise a lot of these names, so I'm not quite sure where some of them have come from, or I've just seen them before and not really noticed their names. So Lamina's won the ball back for them again. Pole makes a good tackle and manages to win the throw as well. 15 minutes gone it's been a really bitty game but Southampton have just about had the better of it. Noydam's looking for McQueen on the overlap. He's going to cut inside as soon as he gets the ball. We've got a game plan here waiting for the overlap and there it comes from McQueen. He's going to deliver to the back post. There's two men running in but Yates and Pole can't make it and it's great defending by the left fullback Rosier for Southampton. He's then managed to turn his man in the corner and Vestergaard finds Hoiberg who brings it out of defence. They go to the left hand side. Some lovely build up and we're getting over run in the middle here. Lamina on the centre circle. He's coming forward again for Dembele. He goes back to Lamina. Good tackle by McQueen. Manages to get there in the end and it's up towards Pole. Loses out in the air though and now Nydam's closing again. Hoiberg's going to get there first though. He finds Mina. He gets it out to the left. It's Lamina. Southampton's right. Our left defensively but Nydam makes a good sliding challenge. Morgan Gibbs White plays a 1-2 with Rossiter and now we're waiting for Yannick Pole to make that run. Can he use his pace in behind down the left wing? There's three men in the box if he can get there. Tries to cut it back for Morgan Gibbs White, but it's deflected behind for a corner with our first chance to get a goal in this game. It's going to be taken by McQueen, an outswinger. We'll put it to the edge of the six yard box, but it's too close to the keeper and cleared away with a punch. He's now fallen to Yates on the rebound. He goes back to Justin. Yates again. Got Morgan Gibbs White inside. Nydam running off him. Turns onto his left and it deflects. Morris with the header, but it's just over the bar and it's out for a goal kick. It looked like we had an injury on the edge of the box there too, but I'm not quite sure what will come of that. A goal kick for Southampton, but our first decent chance of the match. 
Dembele's got the ball in the middle for Southampton. He finds James Ward-Prowse as they start to build another attack. Lamina up to Dembele again. He finds Santi Mina, but it's Ethan Ampadu with a brilliant tackle this time. Gives it away again, though, and now Southampton are in. It'd be a really poor goal to give away, but we don't thanks to Ocampos. What a wonderful bit of goalkeeping from him. But now it's a corner for Southampton, and we've got to learn to defend set pieces too. I thought they were going short, but it's into the middle. Brilliant save again, Ocampos. He's keeping us in this game. It was Dembele with the header, but a wonderful save to tip it onto the roof of the net. It's a short corner this time. Neidham can't make it but he's headed away in the middle by Pole. He don't want to be back there in the back of his own area. We need to get him up on the last man. Should really be Morris back the target man, but you can't really change that in FIFA. He's out to the left for Rosier. He's coming forward again for Southampton to Hoiberg. They always look like they've got an extra man, but how many times have we said this in this FA Cup run? In the first half, we've been outplayed. We've managed to hang on for either a draw or just 1-0, and then got a late goal when it really matters. It's Ward Prowse on the edge, though. Another save from Acampos. Yates closes down on the left, and they've been forced backwards, and the second one's over. Took a deflection off Justin, though, and it's another corner for Southampton. They're all over us with five to the break, and we've just got to try and hold on. Yates heads away at the near post for Pole. He can now bring it out of defence. He gets it up to Morris, who can hold it up the target man. Over to Rossiter, who's running on the left. He's got pole switch flanks. Can he put him in? It's a wonderful ball, and now he's in one-on-one. -on -one. one touch from pole. Puts it into the corner, does he? No. Just wide of the post. And on the counter-attack, we wasted a brilliant chance. They're the sort of ones that we nicked replays from earlier in the season. But unfortunately, this time, Poles wasted the chance. Probably rushed it a little. Didn't need to take it that early. It's Southampton with the goal kick, though. As we come to the last attack of the half, but Morris does well to get back and deflect it out for a throw. Southampton will get time to put it in play again but will they get enough time to build an attack? Ward Prowse finds Lamina. Up to Dembele on halfway. He gets it wide. McQueen closing down. Doesn't quite make it though and Morgan Gibbs White puts pressure on. They're coming forward still though and the whistle's not come. There's no sign of it and there's one minute of stoppage time left. Brilliant work from Yates though but it's going to be a corner. The last action of the half and we've got to defend this well to make sure we don't go in one down and deflate it. It's an in-swinger from Ward Prowse. Rossiter's up. Wins the header brilliantly. Not bad for a short ladder. McKenna the centre half chases it out, makes a brilliant tackle and the whistle goes and at half time it remains goalless. Despite all of the dominance for Southampton, three or four good saves from Acampos, we probably had the best chance of the half with Pole, but unfortunately he wasn't reliable this time as he snuck it wide at the post. But that's it for the first half, it's nil-nil at the break, despite Southampton's dominance and we'll be back trying to make a difference in the second half. Into the second half, then it's Yannick Pohl with the kickoff for us. He gets it short to Morgan Gibbs-White, and we look to build an attack. We really need to do better in this half. Haven't even had a shot on target yet, as Pohl put our only good chance wide of the post. McQueen's on the overlap early doors, though. We've got three or four men making the run. One of them's Carlton Morris, the target man. He gets to the byline, cuts it back towards Nidham, and it's brilliantly cleared away off the line. McQueen tries to win it back, but the header's fallen for Southampton, and now they've got a man over on the break. McKenna, the slightly injured fullback, or centre-half, he's got in there and he managed to make the tackle in the end and Pardew wants to be a bit less risky this time he finds McKenna now it's gone to Nidham and Pardew again he finds Yates this time into Nidham now Rossiter, we've got an overload on the left with McQueen. He tries to find Morris, who holds it up well. We're waiting for that overlap again, and there it comes from Sam McQueen. One touch and a delivery, but it deflects off the defender and behind for a corner. We've got a suggestion to take off Cole and Morris, which I'm not quite sure about. He's had a really good game so far. So we've got the delivery with McQueen. And Pole gets up, he's in. We lead in the FA Cup final. Forget about the talk about Morris. Forget about the weird substitution suggestions. We've gone 1-0 up in a Cup final. And this could be the big moment we were waiting for. All of the games and episodes lead up to this. And now we lead in the biggest domestic cup competition in the world. Southampton looking to build a very quick reply. They get Benega on the ball in the middle. A man who's come off the bench for them shows just how strong their squad is. But we've managed to play out well from the back. With Yates and Ampadu combining to find Justin. He's got it on the right for Morgan Gibbs-White. He's got a man to switch it to in McQueen. Brilliant ball from Gibbs-White. And some of the technical youngsters here really starting to show their class. We put Pole in again, but he was offside. And the whistle goes from the referee. Probably rightly so. Southampton will take it. We'll see one more attack out. And the next time the ball goes out, 
will make our subs. But the free kick's headed away and it's back to Southampton in the left back area. They're going to be forced to build from the back again and great pressing from Yates and Pohl has forced them to slow that attack down. We've now got men behind the ball but are we going to get caught out? We're not. Noydon wins it back really well. He finds it inside and now McKenna out to the left back in McQueen. Hopefully he keeps that in and now we can build forward again. Morris is making a run the target man. Brilliant off the ball work so far from him and now he cuts inside the defender. Brilliant work from him. He tries a second but that one was a little bit greedy and it's cleared away by Southampton. Dembele holds it up for Martin. He goes inside to Benega. He's got so much time in the holding role and that's probably a bit risky given his quality. Mina gets it out to Rosier and now El Yanusi coming down the left as he looks to build a threatening attack for Southampton. Into the middle and it's cleared but only as far as Benega again. Brilliant tackle by Rossiter. Falls for the right back and now Hoiberg into the centre forward and Pardew closes and does just enough to force it wide. It's out for a goal kick and with 18 minutes to go we'll make some subs. We'll be back in a second with news of them. We've made the three subs then. There's some of the usual suspects but maybe not in all cases. We've taken off Rossiter for Jay Saunders. We've also taken off Morgan Gibbs-White and Nydam the normal two. They've been replaced by Jones and Panico as we look to try and wrap the game up with a second. It's Colin Morris with a ball to McQueen. He's knackered but we couldn't take him off today as Potts wasn't fit for a place on the bench. The ball's fallen for Panico on the edge but it's just gone the way of the defender who manages to clear and now Southampton can threaten on the break again. They find James Ward-Prowse. Back to Iron the centre half out to Martin at right back they can build again they've got the ball but they're just keeping it at the back and you may say it's patient build up but it's also a way to waste time when we're waiting to try and win up the cup tie it's gone to Dembele on the right he finds Benega on the overlap got a lot of pace from what I remember but now he's fallen back to McQueen I don't know where that burst of pace came from from the lad James Jones the substitute been with us from the start it'd be a special moment for him he finds Carlton Morris and now we've got an overlap with McQueen let's see if we can get a delivery in we've cut inside for now Jones is on the overlap and he's got the ball by the corner flag. Let's see if we can cut it inside and get a delivery in the box. Pole goes up but it's not quite reached him. And it falls for Saunders 30 yards out. Brilliant effort from the lad. The holding midfielder strikes it well. But it's tipped wide at the post by the Southampton keeper. Adrian doing his bit for them. Moussa Dembele's come off now, the striker. Mark Hughes still in charge of Southampton. That's a very peculiar one. And Guido Carrillo's come on. The big money flop from last January in real life. The ball's come back out from the corner to Ampadu. He's got the ball down by the right corner flag. He's just doing a bit of trickery down there, trying to keep the ball. And I know this is horrible to watch. And I'm sorry to any purists. This isn't the way I normally like to do it. But we had to go by the corner flag and waste a couple of minutes. It may backfire though as Santi Mina's come forward. And now football could be the winner as they come forward on the break for one last chance. Panico's worked so hard to get back there. Justin doesn't quite make it. And Panico again, brilliant work from the lad. All the way back to the goalkeeper of Campos. He tries Tries to get it out to the left, but the game's over. We've won the FA Cup. It will be the end of the series as a result. Yannick Pohl with the winner. So fitting for a player who's been brilliant in the last two seasons. And we have got promoted and won the FA Cup in the same season. And that is going to be a fantastic ending point for this save. Wonderful work from the lads. And we're very proud of their performance. Let's watch the celebrations for a minute before we round up the episode. Brilliant stuff from the lads. They've worked really hard. Deserve to be there. And they're enjoying in the moment as are the crew fans behind them fantastic scenes here the bit that FIFA's always been good at is celebrating the off the field moments we're going up picking up the medals and hopefully we'll see the trophy get lifted in a moment I don't think it'll be me probably the captain who gets to do it I'm sure they don't want the animation of me anyway am I in the picture anywhere don't think we are so unfortunately it's just going to be watching the players on this occasion it's Jones who goes in is he going to pick it up he's the man who should he's the captain on the day came off the bench he's been here from the start in League 2 and here he goes we've won the FA Cup what a wonderful day for the lads and a fantastic finish to the series we couldn't be much happier and what a performance it was we weren't at our best Southampton probably the better of the two sides but we did enough on the day and as a result we get to pick up the trophy it's a bit unrealistic those pictures because none of the subs that didn't come on and what about the staff and things as well they'd normally be there and the referees wouldn't be within one yard but fantastic celebrations and we've seen what we need to see now brilliant work from the lads and an absolutely wonderful final performance 
So let's go and advance just to see where that leaves us. Hopefully the board will be very happy with that performance. And we can round off this episode with happiness all around. And everyone delighted with our achievements. So we're the winner of the FA Cup. There's the confirmation. I'm sure I've shown it off about three or four times already. And then let's go and look and see what the board have said about it. I'd very much like to hope they've said something positive. Especially after such an enormous feat for a championship side. Tournament prize money is £4 million. The board have not said a word. And that should be why we're ending this series. We should leave the club in protest. Completely unhappy at that. And then after this game, Dan Potts has decided to come and moan. Despite the fact he wasn't fit to play in that one. McKenna's thankful we played him. And so was Panico. So good work from them. And some wonderful youngsters left at the club for the future. But that will be all for this episode and this series now from FIFA 19. A massive thanks to everyone who's followed and watched as we've gone along. We culminate with success, winning the league with 99 points this season, and the FA Cup shocking some Premier League teams, and then beating Southampton in the final. Let me know in the comments who you think's been the star player of the series, or just who's been your favourite and give me a reason why. Subscribe to the channel for daily FM19 content from my two long-term stories. We've got our one-club series part of the furniture with Torquay United and our head coach series where we work under a director of football with no say in transfers or contracts. We're a journeyman in that one and move from club to club. But a massive thanks for watching this one as always and we'll see you next time for daily FM19 content.